Hi, Randy here, K7AG. I'm going to try my own satellite pass here tonight. I have the same antenna as you saw in the other video. It's the Arrow. One, two, three elements on two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven on 450. Have it mounted on a camera tripod. And I have a uh, little extension piece of uh, angled aluminum here. And what that does, I can use that to hold my radio here. And I just rubber band on the printout of the, um, of the orbital uh, data. I have a inclometer here to tell me what my angle is. And it also helps to balance this out. It's awfully hard when it's so front loaded. So the pass starts off at 1940 local time at 126 degrees at about 10 degrees elevation. So it'll be about there. Then it'll progress through to 30 degrees elevation at about 68 degrees. I know that's straight off my patio here. And we'll end up at about 10 degrees azimuth and 10 degrees elevation at the end of the pass. So that'll be over here. I have my laptop set up outside using Orbitron satellite tracking program. It's free. You can download this off the web. Here's AO51 coming up uh, west of South America. There's the ground track, so that's how much of the ground the satellite can see, or people within that area can communicate with the satellite. Follow the line up, you can see it's going to go to the east of me here. And there I've pushed the program ahead in time, and that's where it will be at maximum elevation. Okay, it's uh, 7.41. It's at uh, about nine degrees over over uh, over the horizon, which is still pretty low for a small setup like like this. It's starting to hear, starting to hear some signals. There it is. Turning it vertically like this is changing the polarization. Sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. K7AGE. Kilowatt 7 Alpha Golf Echo. Kilowatt 7 Alpha Golf Echo. Yeah, WA7, I, I missed the rest of it. Uh, it's K7AGE, Charlie Mike 99, go ahead. QSL, and what's the rest of your call and grid, please? Uh, QSL, WA7 Echo Tango Hotel Mobile, Charlie and Nancy. Charlie Nancy, what again? Charlie Nancy, 
Okay, and your operating mobile. We got one. The Victor Echo, the Victor Echo Station K7 AGE. Kilowatt seven Alpha Golf Echo Charlie Mike nine nine. Uh, what's the last part of your call? What's the last part of your call? Go ahead. Victor Echo 7, Charlie Romeo Tango, over. Okay, VE7, Charlie Romeo Tango, gotcha. Just working with an HT and an arrow antenna here out in the backyard today. Go ahead. Very good. Looks like we're about ready to lose the pass here. Well, work two, I got two. It does work. You can make satellite contacts with an HT and this little arrow antenna. I think our problem the other day was we didn't know, really know when the satellite was coming by. I think there was a little bit of problems with Grover's uh, satellite prediction program. But work two uh, contacts, we heard uh, quite a few more stations on there. One of the things you have to do is keep changing the receive frequency on the 432. Um, I printed out this uh, brochure here or this little instructions um, from from N1 ASA. It's a link on my uh, on my flower garden uh, on my other AL51 uh, video and I'll just kind of tell you what the frequencies are here real quick. This is a real good write-up. goes through how to use everything with this antenna. And of course, I can't find the sheet here with the frequencies. So for AO51, we transmit on 145.92. In receive, we start at 435.31 when the pass is coming towards us because it's higher in frequency because of the, uh, because of the Doppler. 
the satellite's approaching us, it's higher in frequency. At the midpoint of the pass, the frequency is 435.3, and then as the satellite's going away from me, or from you, the frequency is lower. So you want to then tune the radio down to 435.29. So you can either do that by programming, say, like five memories in the uh, in the radio. I was just using the VFOs on the FT-51. Of course, you have to go to flip it over to the B side to change the receiver and flip it back to the A side to transmit. But having everything on the tripod and the radio held uh, makes it a little bit easier. You can almost have one hand free. So anyway, it does work. Give it a try. AL-51. Check it out. See you later.